everybody welcome back to the video so on this on this episode what we're going to be doing is reviewing the axial yeti xl um this to me is an awesome truck i only i'm i'm the second owner yeah i bought it second hand because i got a deal so i got it um it had the stock wheels all four or five of them probably including this and i didn't like them as much so i replaced them um, I got the RC four wheel drive 40 series Dick CPEC. Um, I got those and I got the uh, Mickey Thompson's tires on here Baja Claw um, Perfect match. They, they look good. They look really good. They grippy. I, I, I Haven't taken them out yet on these wheels. I've had the other ones I've had the stock ones and I've had another set that were on um, Road crushers with the uh, steel belted wheels um i'm gonna take this out today me and a friend of mine that i also go out rcing with takes he has a yeti as well and he'll he'll be taking his out he's just waiting on a few replacement parts um but they'll, they'll be in they're coming in now actually and um we're gonna be taking this out this has upgrades as um quite a few um hot racing upgrades has um the lower arms in the back. It has the brace for the drive shaft. It has the stabilizer up top. The, all of them are aluminum. It has the red um, hot racing um, sway bars. Um, has the chassis brace up here. This one's hot racing. It's all metal. Um, has the Castle Sidewinder 6S system in it and a 2200 um kv motor also like castle um has a don't have the shock tower the aluminum one but i will be upgrading to that and i want to do some jumps with this series jumps without worrying about that breaking and the shocks popping off and these shocks are awesome these shocks look really nice like big boy i love them um now, there's one thing everybody complains like not everybody but those who owned i guess um the xl when is the cap top when you put it up it doesn't stay you know everybody complains oh what are you going to do work uh, blah, blah. anyway i just push it all the way up and it locks in that's what i do i don't know if you're supposed to do it or not but that's what i do when it works when I'm doing, so it is what it is um i did add some extra lights to it and i put them on a button that's up here and i made it waterproof because it's a rubber button and i put um hot glue in it kind of blends in looks nice right in front of the gps you can see it right there so the lights that i have push that's it and they're on green as well because it matches the body those and then i got those and then i have the ones on the back on that top bar i like it looks good i don't have it connected to the receiver um because i like to push the button and go drive it in the day you don't have to push the button and you can connect it to the transmitter whatever it is that's the way i did it anyways um this thing is awesome. It has a metal plate in the front. It is, it's cool. I mean, this thing's a monster. I mean, it's almost as big as that uh, X Max. I'm sure the, the drive shafts, interior, pump, and everything inside was upgraded. All metal, too. Um, I haven't opened it up check everything on the inside but it's when i drove it the first time this thing handled well it took off brake no issues i don't know how it's going to handle with these tires um has a savox servo um this thing, sparkle seats um yeah anyway savox servo aluminum gears metal gears on the inside digital uh it's tight it's it's a very powerful looking truck and uh, 
I'm gonna take it out on 4S. I took it out when I got it the first time. I took it out on 4S. And on 4S to a 6S system, it's a lot, but it's not a lot, you know? So, yeah, I got um 4S batteries, two 2S batteries. These are the Z batteries. I like these batteries, these are good. I got the 2S and I got the 3S. So I am gonna take it out and push it to the, on the 6S. Um, so we'll see. There's gonna be a difference, you know. <clears throat> gonna be a big difference. But I don't think I ran anything else on 6S. My X Max is an 8S. And um, so I jumped from a 4S to an 8S. So I never did anything on 6S. We'll see how it goes with that one. We'll be going out with a friend of mine who also has a Yeti. Um, <clears throat> his is not green. It's obviously a different color, which is nice. I like this too. He also has the um, the RC four wheel drive 40 series rims. He also has those. He has mud slingers. I love those tires. They look awesome. The mud slingers. Um, but I want to try these out. And um. Yeah, I got the wrench. I used this on the X-Mac and um, it works, but you can see it slowly stripping. So I went and ordered a new one, an aluminum one, and I like it because it actually matches the truck. I got it for the X-Max and I got this. So, but it works for the 17 millimeter aluminum one. I think it's awesome. Um, the receiver, transmitter, they're not axial stock. I put in which is to me is awesome this thing is awesome has great range great response and it's six channels six channels you can't beat it for the cheapest price I've ever seen on a six channel great range receiver fast fast um, response on this thing um, it's a Dumbo RC Dumbo RC racing they have another brand well they have the same transmitter under a different name but I ended up getting this one and then obviously probably like a month or so if that sooner or later I got another one which was um, rebranded but it was the same remote this thing has a gyro this does have gyro six channels this thing is can't say enough about it you know and how I found out about this was another youtuber um, I'm sure a lot of you heard of him. A lot of you watch him. I still do love his channel. He's got a great channel. Um, Kevin Talbot. I give him a lot of credit on all the cars he does, gets, changes, breaks, and redoes, redo again. So you, it's a great thing because you're doing what you love. So you love doing it. You can only have fun whether you break something or not. You know, you can only have fun with it. If you love doing it, you're good to go. So, we're gonna take it out. And we're gonna get this thing going. I wanna do 2S, I mean 4S, and see how it goes, see how fast it goes, see what it can handle, then shoot right up to 6S. Hopefully everything stays good. So, stay tuned. We're gonna do it. Let's race these trucks.